you have to it's not that writing equation really you have to fight with the diagrams what do you mean by that always draw the different trajectories and try to analyze it at least you'll get some idea what has to be done okay what do you mean by that always why is why sir why you are bringing this condition specifically we didn't understood huh? 89 degrees sir huh? what is it 89 degrees oh you got the answer final answer Eighty nine degrees, I don't know how I don't have calculator, some other values if you can tell it'll be better. In angle of projection, sine or cos or tan theta. Tan theta, I think you can express in terms of tan theta. Now for first what is that uh, angle always be moving. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's have first our projectile motion. Please do make observation. Later on, I'll try to explain still more better with the diagrams. Uh, it is projected with a speed u at an angle theta. Well, let's assume this is theta. Then th this is the point of projection. O, oh, I'll write it. Then we'll, we'll <coughs> draw an arrows indicating the position of projectile at various points. Uh, somewhere, somewhere at one point. I'll take out this theta, may not be important. Somewhere at one point, the velocity vector will become perpendicular to the, the radius vector. That is what I'll call R. Then, then if I go for other thing, diagram not correct so, so, some some diagram went wrong I'll, I'll redraw it exact diagram needed trajectory should be sin inverse of 2 root 3 mm, okay okay yeah sir sin inverse of 2 root 3 not possible 2 root 2 by 3 sir 2 root 2 by 3 yes in under root or 2 root 2 by 3 it should be there oh check it yes sir okay now no, no, you see this one i don't know how many of you really tried with a understood with the help of diagram?
and this is yeah we'll take this one sir 45 degrees sir no 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 not 45 And these are rough diagrams. So here, somewhere the velocity vector, let's assume that it will become perpendicular. This is r bar. So this is a position vector r one bar, r two bar, r three bar, r four bar. Hmm? This is r five, r six, r seven bar, r eight bar. All these are the position vectors. Here it is perpendicular. And if I check it, no R five where R bar is perpendicular to. I'll, I'll let me write only R bar. Okay, this will become R five, R six, R seven. From A to A, the distance of the projectile. Projectile is here. It is projected. The distance of projectile. from point of projection decreases all this remaining th this particular thing distance of projectile from the point of projection starts increasing I wanted students to analyze with the diagram first. Then we could have wrote equation. Distance of projectile from the point of projection increases. So you see that there it is increasing. Becomes maximum, then decreases. So it is become maximum. So here, where where it is maximum, R bar when it is perpendicular to V bar. So here is what the situation will arise. I'll I'll give some specific color. After this, what will happen? It will decrease here. this what happens here so why sir what is use of this okay fine increasing decreasing will agree this one so i am going to throw this canon shell do you expect it should like a blast nearby you or should be blast always away from you it should blast always away from me no because i am throwing on enemy and in projectile motion or when it goes it goes here then after crossing this point now it is the distance between me the shell and the person who i am thrown i have thrown it it start decreasing so it should always open it should blast it <coughs> it should always move further from me then some it go and should collide here so after this open it starts the distance between the shell and me start decreasing so if i if the blast occurs near to me what pen i'll be under risk no forget about enemy <laughs> so therefore what is the condition that one i should throw in such a way that it should always move away it should always move away means it should move some something like this if it always moves away then okay will be on safer side so definitely this r uh, now now will take the conditions here r bar greater than r4 greater than r3 greater than r2 greater than r1 uh, and at the same time r bar is greater than r5 Greater than R six, greater than R seven. So what's happening? The shell initially increasing becomes maximum, then decreases. So I don't want this part. I don't want this part. Means it should always move away. So what angle I should project here? So how it is possible? How you can throw it? Just I think I'll, I'll just I'll show another diagram. Now I'll project it in such a way that. now i'll measure the r bars so you can see this 
Okay, I can I'll, I'll show this arrow. So at least you you must accept me. Huh? No, I, I'm projecting it. The tip of arrow is the path of trajectory. You see that one. It all the time length is increasing. No. What about in this case? In this case, things are. Uh, what color? Yellow color. I'll take it. Yeah. You see this one. Now it start decreasing. Somewhere maximum. Then then again it starts this one. The tip of arrow there's a trajectory. You see the length of arrow start decreasing. Sir means uh, maximum height should be less than range. Ah oh, yeah, not not like this. Not that the condition theta. The again the range all that depends upon what you. Here the angle of projection is what we are predicting here. Ah, th there's also one condition will come, but uh, it's not a necessary that one. The theta is what will determine this. Huh? Okay, in this case now, now if you see in this all this situation, R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, R6. So there's no problem here. So it is always moving away from the point of projection. So we have to bring this necessary condition. So anywhere will it become perpendicular? No. Here, here somewhere R bar will become perpendicular for for it. <laughs> for the projectile always to move away from point of projection so what should be the position vector and velocity vector should never become perpendicular sir are you sure yes, that the only thing is which is available here okay i think that's the condition what we can use so let's start this one Let me draw one more. So it will be. This is our bar. Velocity vector. This is a P bar. Okay, there's a point. I'm projecting at an angle theta. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll come into the picture. So now, <coughs> let, let this be the y, let this be x coordinate. This one at t equals 0 is what we have projected. This is origin. Now here definitely r bar dot v bar. If r bar is r bar dot v bar is equal to 0 means, again the projectile is not moving away from is not moving always away from point of projection if dot product is not equal to zero it will move away from point of projection so here what is the necessary condition here as i'm very sure that this is occurring here it is not occurring r bar is not perpendicular to v bar during flight here r bar will become perpendicular to v bar during the flight that already i i wrote it r bar will be perpendicular to v bar during flight okay let me write here so what is r bar will define it x i cap plus y j cap dot u cos theta i cap Mm, later on I'll, I'll expand it it'll become equal to zero so high dot i based on that 
x v x plus y v y equal to zero, or this will become x by y is equal to v y by v x. Let's substitute all. What is x is equal to u cos theta. What is y? U sin theta. I'll write it here. Yeah. U sin theta t minus g t square by two. V y v y will become u sin theta minus g t. This will be u cos theta. Let's simplify this. U square cos square theta t. Uh, then I have to expand this bracket, a uh, big bracket. U square minus of this sin square t. So many terms will come. Uh, then again plus u sin theta g t square. Minus u sin theta g t square by two. Minus of minus this will be plus. Then minus minus of g square t cube by two. Now the expansion. Just check once. Then if it is correct, then I'll I'll move forward. G square t cube by two here t square t square u square. Okay, I'm yeah, fine. Hmm? So let me bring the this equation u square u square t square u square t out common cos square theta sin square theta equal to u sin theta g t square u sin theta g t square. This will become three u three u. Three G U one T gets eliminated, so then we'll end up with a quadratic equation G square T square by two minus three G U sine theta by two plus U square equal to zero. T T will be there here. Yeah. Hmm. What shall I do now? <coughs> okay, fine. Th some okay. Some. I I want that angle. So what shall I do with this situation? During the flight, if har bar becomes position vector becomes perpendicular to velocity vector, then it will not always move away from point of projection. If this condition is not satisfied, then it will always move away from the point of projection. But what we assume, we assume that r bar dot v bar equals zero means it will never move. But we want it to move. So therefore, what shall I do with this equation? I am asking ulta thing here, reverse thing here. If r bar dot v bar equals zero, again after some time it will start moving towards point of projection. If r bar dot v bar is not equal to zero. Then it will always move away from point of projection. So therefore, for this equation, what conditions shall I put it? No. Should be less than zero. The discriminant should be less than zero. <coughs> no real root. There should not be real root here. So I'll I'll put a condition now for the projectile. Here we'll write it here for projectile. For projectile to move always from to move always away from always away from point of projection. 
u bar dot okay sorry r bar dot v bar must not be equal to zero. Okay, this is a necessary condition. So therefore, for this, I think the uh, roots what happen should not be real. So for that, it should be less than zero. The discriminant. So therefore, here three u g sine theta or three g u sine theta by two b square minus four ac four g square two u square should be less than zero. Please do follow. Th this this is very important now. So we'll solve for this. We'll get expression for theta. Okay, sine theta will be. I think all g u square or uh, everything will get eliminated. Uh. Sine square theta. This will be nine by four minus two less than zero. Or sine square theta should be less than. Root under root eight by nine. Check it here now. So what is that angle? Just equal. Equal also will satisfy no. So therefore, the person who is throwing the shells, he cannot throw in his own wish. <laughs> you have to follow mathematics here. that this condition is very important now I'll, I'll scroll up so that you can see completely so therefore th this I'll write quadratic equation this is a, like a therefore we'll write further therefore the roots of equation